to the North Brandywine teachers, staff, students, and parents and loved ones. Good morning. Eighth grade, you guys look sharp. They said, I know. All right. Man. Eighth grade, you made it. Congratulations. Round of applause for yourselves. I'd like to say what an honor it is to speak this morning to the 8th grade class of North Brandywine Middle School. I am an alum of North Brandywine, so there will always be a special place in my heart for the North Brandywine Middle School. What can I say to the 8th grade class, the class that knows absolutely everything? <laughs> or at least that's what I thought when I was in 8th grade, that I knew absolutely everything. All I needed in life was a PlayStation, and if you gave me a computer and Nickelodeon, that's the only things that I needed, all right? Luckily, I had two loving parents who loved me, and I had loved ones and aunts and uncles and teachers that wanted me to be great. So, hey, Fred, if you can stand up, if you have a loved one, a parent, a guardian, an uncle, an aunt, a cousin, please give them a round of applause and say thank you for loving me. Thank you for pushing me. Parents, I want you to repeat after me. The journey is not over. Y'all don't sound like y'all believe it. Repeat after me. The journey is not over. Eighth grade, repeat after me. The journey is just beginning. You guys are about to embark further in your education to high school, where you'll be starting in ninth grade. When I say the journey is just beginning, it's because you can start over and be someone new. Meaning that if you did not do so well in North Brady 1, if you did not get the grades you wanted to, or you didn't do well academically, or you know, you got suspended, or you got in a fight, you know, you have another opportunity to do well. How many of you guys want a second chance? Raise your hand. All right now, all right? You have a second chance. So in ninth grade, you guys have the opportunity to find yourself, all right? When you get to ninth grade, you guys need to find clubs and sports. You guys need to study hard. So there's a couple points that I want to make with you guys today, all right? Number one, is that you do not let your friends choose you. You choose your friends. All right? I'm going to have you guys repeat after me. You know, I'm good. I like, I like calling commander. You guys okay with that? All right, say, I will, I will not, let not let my friends, my friends choose, me. choose me. I will choose, I will choose my, friends. my friends. All right. You guys will be combining with three other middle schools, Scott Middle School, South Brandywine Middle School, and as well as this school. Alright, you're going to meet people from all over the city. People, some people that have your morals and values, some people that were raised the same way you were, and then you're going to meet some people that were not. You choose your friends, you choose which crowd you want to be. All right. If you were quiet in middle school, you can go to high school and be the loudest person. No one knows who you are. All right. If you were the cheerleader at this school, you can go to uh, ninth grade and be the quietest person in the class. I doubt it. All right. But you can be whoever you want to be. Okay. Now, second point I want to make is that you're going to study hard. All right. Say that with me. Study hard. Study hard. How many of you guys study in middle school? Raise your hand. you guys like to read and write in middle school? Raise your hand. It is crucial that you learn how to read and write properly in high school. As Mr. Fisher stated, this is where it starts. All right? These next four years will depict how you will live the next 40 years. As I had teachers and parents push me and challenge me, and I also made challenges for myself. They said, I want better for myself. I don't want to be sitting in Koto for the next 40 years, all right? You want to go above and beyond. You want to travel. You want to have family. You want to have a great job. You want to do things like that, all right? My next point that I want to make for you guys 
is that life is great. What do I mean by that? Every day you should wake up in the morning and say, I want the best out of my day. All right, how many of you guys wake up in the morning and say to yourself, wow, today I'm going to do absolutely nothing to make sure that I achieve nothing so that I have no success in the future. <laughs> how many of you look in the mirror and say that to yourself in the morning? I didn't think so. All right, every day you should wake up in the morning and say to yourself, I want to make the best out of today so I can make the best for my tomorrow. Now, how old are you guys? 14, all right, I'll be 21 in a month. I'm not that older than you, all right? I just came out of high school in 07. I will be graduating next semester, uh, two semesters from now with my undergraduate degree from college, all right? And it's possible. Now, I told you to study hard, why? You guys have the opportunity to get scholarships and to get grants and get free money. How many of you guys like money? Say cha-ching. All right. Parents, how many of you want your son or daughter to get a scholarship or a grant? Raise your hand. Say cha-ching. All right now. I had a full scholarship to my university. I did not pay a dime to go to school. And students of North Brain Line Middle School, you can do the exact same thing. Challenge yourself. Want more. And I'll leave you with this story. There are two men that work at a construction site every day, and they're two best friends, all right? And at lunchtime, the, the uh, whistle blows, and, they all, and everybody goes to lunch, and these two, they sit next to each other at lunch. And the two men open up their lunch uh, boxes, and the one opens up his lunch box, and he has a nice spread of sandwich, chips, dessert, fruit, soda, everything. And his friend that's sitting next to him opens up his lunch box, and all he has is a bologna sandwich. And he says, oh, bologna again. The next day he rolls around, the whistle blows, and both men come again and they open up their lunch boxes. Now this man again has steak, mashed potatoes, green beans, everything. Nice spread. And this guy over here opens up his lunch box and he says, bologna again? So the friend looks at him and he says, if you don't want a bologna sandwich, why don't you tell your wife to make you something new? And he laughs. He says, my wife doesn't make my lunch. I make my lunch. <laughs> why did I tell you this story? That man had to live with the decisions that he made. He chose to make a bologna sandwich. So when it was time for lunch, he had to live with that decision. You guys now, at this current second in time, have the decision that you want to make. You can either be successful and have steak, mashed potatoes, and green beans, or you can be not as successful and have bologna. Alrighty? You guys, you have a wonderful opportunity to make great people and to change the face of the world. Coatesville is not the lesser, it is the greater. Alright, congratulations, eighth grade.